Right, so now I need to figure out a way up there. That should be interesting enough. Yeah, the contrast seems to have sorted itself out. Which is nice. What the hell do we get up there? Hi all. <laughs> Welcome to the video. So we're about to, well, effectively make our way up to that tower I can see up in the distance. Um, we're going there because a, yeah, there we go. After a zombie appeared in the Bruma Synod Conclave, a chapter head, Cadius Ven Venicuous, uh, Cadius, whatever, uh, decided that he had to act. He sent me to Frost Crag Spire, the suspected location of these items' origin, to find out whoever is responsible and put a stop to it. So, yeah, that's the plan. Trick of it is, I have no idea how to get there. Unlike being in Skyrim, this is very much unknown territory, I'm assuming. Just generally head toward it or follow any path that seems to be near it is probably the best option. It's the option I'm going to take. Oh, the Imperial City. Oblivion nostalgia for the win. Yes, it is. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. And so is this mod, I've got to say. Really enjoying it. Very, very much. That looks like one of the bigger trees from the bigger trees mod, but it isn't. It's uh, I've disabled it just, just while I'm in Bruma. Um, and we're going to imagine that trees just grow bigger in Skyrim or, you know, something like that. Now, there's a river to cross, more of a ravine, really. So I'm wondering, do we get there from this side? By that I mean, do we go all the way down and then all the way back up again? Or, the, we saw a sign, not this one, it was further up here. There was actually a sign to go to the watchtower? And I'm wondering whether or not that will lead me somewhere near it, because that's the thing. Even if I use the map, there's no clear roads on this map. I think I've got a modded map, which is much better in Skyrim, but obviously was made without Bruma in mind. That could be a possibility directly ahead, but I, I kind of doubt it. So, it is, uh, it is just going to be... You know, what it is. Just going to have to find it. And if you're wondering where Serana went, well, for a while now, there's been an option to ask Serana about being cured of vampirism. And I eventually decided, well, here we are, we're holidaying in Bruma. This, this would be the place to ask. So I asked her, and she basically said, yeah, I'm going to go off and see somebody about that. But I've got nothing in my journal in regard to it. Ooh, we are definitely getting closer to this place. So I don't know. She's gone off somewhere. I'll figure out where eventually, I guess. A fairly uneventful trip here. I th think this is the sign. Take a look. A little overexposed, maybe? I don't know. Mountain. That's so bright, I can't read it. Mountain watch. Okay. Well, it, it's vaguely going in the right direction. We'll go with that. I haven't seen anybody, though. Slightly unnerves me that we've not seen anybody. There is, however, a small cave up ahead. And as well as that, after we've been here, we've also got, yes, over here, Sendor. Meet Olaf near Sendor. So there's there's another thing to do there. I think it was 
something like a rescue. So that's quite interesting. Okay, something's great. Oh, wolves. There we go. Sorted that little problem out. <laughs> Whether to get involved or not. No, well, they can, they can sort that out shortly when they're done. Hello. Just where the deer has run to. What have we got here? Rumour and the mountain watch. But there's a little place here. You guys... What am mana discovered? I'm warning you, don't come any closer. Okay, I put my okay. Right, so come back here another day. Probably a better idea. I I am pretty sure we're heading the right way. One whoa! Sorry, dude, but werewolf or not, that kind of surprised me. Always kind of upsets me that, well, the werewolves attack. Given we are one. <laughs> yeah, and that only came about because Kevan was kind of distracted by Alia at the time and wanted to sort of impress her. Which was kind of stupid, really. Because I don't think it worked anyway. I don't think she was impressed. Is that a cave? It is a cave. What? How hard is that to get to? Um, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I know we're on the way to the tower. I am very curious about the tower. Oh, come on. Really? But a cave is a cave. Hello. Are you... Well, you're not attacking. Oh, well, maybe you are. <laughs> Sorry. I... Really, I, I should have... I should have just calmed him. Where's my cave gone? I've discovered it. Where is it? There it is. Freeze Wind Hollow. Oh, right, okay. Right, okay, that kind of a cave. Night vision on. I should have come in. Sneaking, I think. Yeah, I can hear that one. Through there. Can I punch through that? Because that is a big spider on the other side of that. No, apparently. Can get poisoned. And the little guy. Oh, God. One looked like he was inside the other there. Like one emerged from the next one. Okay, is there anything in here other than spiders? There's a web sack and a chest. Elvin bow. Mm. Not really worth picking that up, I don't think. Not when I've got a dragon bone one and Oriel's bow. Is that it? Is there nothing else in here? It would appear not, no. Oh well, fair enough. Right, okay, we were making our way. Can we get back? Uh, might have to go the long way round, I think. 
Yes, apologies for the video. Oh, maybe you get up this way. Looks hopeful. Yes, it does. Yeah, there we go. There's a dog. Scruffy. Who are you, boy? Apparently he's Scruffy. This isn't any of my business, you or I should take a closer look at you, find your master and take you to them. Probably. Examine Scruffy. On closer inspection, the dog appears heavily bruised. There appear to be patches where he is lacking fur, as though it has come out. In addition, he appears to have some cuts and scars under his fur. The bruises don't seem like they were caused by local wildlife. His collar reads Scruffy, old, owned by Banyas Jukani of Bruma. It seems Scruffy might not have been treated very well by his former owners. Bring to Banyas or find him a new home. I really don't think I'm going to take him up to the tower which we're nearly at, but you know who would like the dog. He's going to follow me, isn't he? I'm going to take him to that innkeeper. Yes, I am. We're going to do it right away. Because I like dogs. Okay, I don't need any other reason other than I like dogs dogs so I'm going to take him to that guy who clearly loved his dog even though he left him outside in the cold and he died but you know at least we know he probably won't make that mistake again but I'm not going to give a dog back to owners that treat him badly and beat him I mean that's just awful I can't understand people that do that to dogs really can't it's like there's something deeply wrong with them. You know, something profoundly wrong in their psyche. Is he coming? He's coming. All right, well, I'm not running in case I lose him. Yeah, I mean, a dog will give you undying loyalty. No <laughs> wolves, but... Nice one, Scruffy, but don't attack a wolf. It will absolutely kick your ass. Wolves and dogs are not the same. Yes, they probably had a common ancestor kind of deal. And dogs were created by man, more or less. Is the current theory. If you keep breeding wolves for ones that are not hostile to humans, you wind up with dogs. However, you know... Dogs re don't regard you as a dog, they regard you as a person. But they treat you with a lot of respect. Um, and compassion and love. And to turn around and hurt an animal like that is... Well, I'm sorry, but... There's something wrong with you. And... Uh, you need help. That's all I'm saying. Yes, there are worse things. You could be doing that to children. Who are people? Are people worth more than dogs? Yes, I'm being speciesist, if that's even a thing. I really don't care. If that's all you've got time to worry about, then take a step back and realise just how good your life is, how comfortable your life is. If those are the things you've got time to worry about, rather than where your next meal is coming from, if you're going to be mugged or robbed or killed every waking moment then probably your life is pretty bloody good so enjoy it come on scruffy i'm taking you somewhere a lot better i don't think this guy will even leave you out in the cold although you look like the kind of dog that would be okay with it you know what kind of dog would have been okay with freezing cold weather a husky. If you had a husky out in the cold, it'd have been fine. I've seen those, the ones that are acclimatised to it anyway. You know, the, the actual uh, sleigh pulling ones. Out in the middle of the Antarctic at minus 40 degrees. Curled up in a ball in the snow, completely comfortable. Yeah. And that animal would probably have been okay. But a regular dog? 
nah. It just doesn't have that kind of fur. Or metabolism or all the other things that make those dogs like they are. Uh, there's the place. I hope he doesn't mind me bringing dogs in because that's going to be fairly important to the general scheme of things. Yes, it is. Come on, pooch. Okay, where is he? Can I help you? You seem very lonely. Would you like to take the dog? Let's just do that first. I... Well, stranger, if you'd be so kind, I... It would warm an old man's heart. There you go. Scruffy's his name, eh? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You are, you are. That's right. Ah, oh, I like him already. I see I found myself a true canine companion. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. It's not much, but have what little earnings I have. Gold pales so much in comparison to companionship. Truly does. And you didn't need to give me any gold. There you go, Scruffy. Somewhere nice for you. Hello. Yeah. Enjoy your new life. All right. I'll come back again to talk to him about the thing he wanted to do, which was the... Uh... Oh, what was it? Oh, with the, the herbs and whatnot. And we'll head on. Yes, we will. What time is it now? <laughs> I could do with a time of day mod. You know, one where I think something ridiculous like every four minutes an hour passes in Skyrim. I think I think it needs extending a little. You know, so every I don't know twelve minutes or so an hour passes in Skyrim just to make the days and nights a little bit more um, usable you know because in real time this is less than 20 minutes it's gone from first thing in the morning to eight o'clock at night it's a little bit silly right can I shortcut my way back to the path I was on I'm wondering You know, probably not a great idea. Can I get back up from where I've just got to? I'll probably do this. Cut a little bit of the journey down. But yeah, taking the dog with me or returning it to owners that beat it. No, not happening. Just no. That's how dark it is. Without night vision, my god. Yeah, you definitely need it, that's for sure. Is it me or am I able to run a little further these days? It kind of feels like I am. Now mind you, I've got extra stamina. I'm regenerating stamina a little more and... I think... I think that was it. Come on deer, don't be in the way. That's probably the same deer, isn't it? It's injured anyway. What does the moon look like without the night vision? Ah oh, yeah, it makes more sense now. Ah. Uh, is really really dark it's a much warmer light you see than that isn't it see that stark difference definitely a thing although that is weird to look at when it's lit from that angle I have to say yeah I'm I think the night vision's better. 
which is probably why I've not bothered curing myself of uh, being a werewolf. Is it this way where I was going, I think. Yes, pretty sure this was it. Okay, I can just make out the spire on the very top there. Mother Wart added. Yes, we seem to have rather a lot of it now. I'm not sure how much. I've not looked, but I'm guessing quite a bit. Probably... <laughs> Deal with this lion. Take the pelt. I don't really think I need it. I will go back to that barkeep. I'll do that when we decide the holiday's over and it's time to go home. I think we'll finish with that, maybe. Oh, I do need to start eating some of these ingredients. It may just get a lot brighter. Like just the moon coming out from behind the trees. Frost trout. There you go. No soul gem large enough. Well... Is what it is. And he kept my arrows. Maybe he's just got a thicker hide. Can I see without night vision? Oh, this is like killing giants. I don't really want to. I don't think they calm either. I don't think you can. Um, kind's peace, maybe? God! I just heard someone say, who's there? He's right where I want to go, I think. Can I get around him any... Am I still too close? Found you. You must be joking. Why are you hostile? <laughs> Oh, was it the shout? Yeah. Oh god. That's kind of all my fault. I've really messed up there, haven't I? Oh god. Yeah, well you kill people. I should not. I've used Kind's piece. Why does it affect humans, make them hostile? Because it really shouldn't. I am so bloody sorry about that. Ooh, mud crab stew, eh? She's probably important as well. Maybe I was meant to talk to her. Or wouldn't she be... No, she no, she would be marked as essential if that was the case, wouldn't she? Maybe. Yeah, let's stay with uh, not doing that. Okay, we've got a path this way, but also... There is one around the outside here. With a stone mark. I want to check this one first. Probably turn out to be someone really important. Oh, really? Actually, could I... I don't necessarily just want to kill these without any thought, you see. What? No, okay, I did my best to not upset you, but you're just going to be, aren't you? <sighs> Sorry, friend. And I could do with the arrows back, thank you. And those teeth that I have no idea what properties they are. I tried to get past him as fast as possible, but, you know, uh, wasn't happening, unfortunately.
Okay, well it looks like we are getting very close. Yep, or maybe we could have gone the other way. I'm just slightly curious to see. That, that does look like a path down that side, but... Right, we are here, I'm guessing. Probably don't need night vision now. Even though night vision isn't a light source, I always kind of feel like it could be. You know, and I, I, I want to uh, not have it on when approaching somewhere stealthily. I just feel like people can see me when I've got it on somehow. That I'm not hidden in the dark. Are these anything to interact with? No, they are simply a light source. Check out the perimeter first. Okay, that's, I'm going to have to. If I want to see any detail, wow, that's a bloody good structure they've made there. Okay, so only the one. Is this a door? Yeah. Hello. Oh there, traveller. What's your business in Frostcrack Spire? Um, I could ask you the same question. As you can see, I am here with a college reclamation team. Frostcrack Spire has been claimed, under Imperial Doctrine, as a transient College of Whispers Sinusure. We are trying to discover anything of magical interest in this spire. So, again, I ask you, what your business here is? Right, no official business, I just had some questions. I know they don't like the other college, do they? There's a bit of rivalry there. Um, but let's be upfront about it. The Synod? The Synod have no right to this place. This is soon to be a fully-fledged College of Whispers sinusure. Yeah. I am quite bewildered at this turn of events. Might not have been the right As thing to say. As you can see, I am here with a College Reclamation team. We are trying to discover anything of magical interest in this spire. What are you here for? Uh, yeah, we are trying to solve a bit of a mystery. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Ooh, a magical one. Now, oh, there we go. Strange items have been appearing in the Conclave. We think they came from here. Well, I can assure you that we are in no way responsible. <coughs> On second thought, I'm not so sure. I was about to say, you don't say sound very sure. Master Astor Astentius here in the Sinusure. Something tells me he might have something to do with your little mystery. Right, okay. Where's the dog that's panting? The list oh, right, yes, those books. Can't see the dog, I can hear panting, so it's very unnerving. Um. Okay. Ah. So what have we got here? Nothing too weird, I don't think. Apart from the general background magic sounds. A dagger, what's the book? Tragedy in Black, I don't know. I don't think I've read that. Lives of the Saints. Okay, well, it doesn't look too suspicious. Who might you be? I don't like the look of that mask. I'm rather busy with my work. 
Try one of the others around here. Hello. You seem on edge. Do I? Well, maybe it's because I have my hands full trying to help establish a sinusure atop an oversized frozen rock. Do you think that has anything to do with it? Mm. Yes, but you're not doing it all alone, are you? Unless we have our own parts to play up here. Okay, he's, I'm mind reading now. Apparently. Mine simply happened to comprise most of the stressful busy work necessary to get this place into shape. Funny that, eh? Yeah, they... Nice mask. Yes, it is. Supplied by our colleagues in Water's Edge. We may be practitioners of necromancy, but that does not mean we have to stand the intolerable stench which comes with its study. Uh, that's kind of what I thought has prevented about the mask. a fair bit of fainting on my end. Not that I would actually faint, mind you. Just an expression. Yeah, right. So, what do you work? Yes, it is. We may be practicing. It Stop certainly has prevented a fair bit of fainting that. on my end. Cataloging. You don't need to know the details. Right. The College of Whispers would not be named as such if we continually blurted out our findings to passerby. Okay. So you're you're a self-important cleric who has to wear the mask or he faints. Okay. Yeah. Which I completely get you now. Arnold Bloody Rimmer. Right. Do I do it? Open Frost Crag Spire Tower. Astor, you have to be more careful. We don't want anyone getting hurt in this experiment. Be calm, my dear. Be calm. We don't even know if the thing is sending anything through. We have yet to send anyone to check the destination site. For all we know, the blasted creature could be in pieces all over the Geralds. But a zombie? What if it did go through and somebody gets hurt? We can't have that happen, Aster. We need live tests. Ugh. But I see your point. Very well. We'll do it your way. Well, thank you. I just hope it didn't cause too much of a panic over there already. Kind of did. Ugh. By the eight, it's freezing up here. Once our business here is concluded, I'm going to request relocation. Don't blame you. Um, did you know strange items are appearing at the Brumat Synod Conclave? What? Yes. Oh no. I knew the old man should have been more careful in his experiments. Go talk to Astor. He should be able to shed some light on your Conclave's little mystery. Okay. Nope, that's not us. Okay, have you just teleported somewhere else? I think they probably did. Okay, and then... Oh, well, yeah, don't, don't touch their little herb garden. Balcony? Oh, I've got to check out the balcony, man. Whoa, okay. Okay, there's... How many? One, two, three, four... Six things, but it looks like only one is active. Let's not stand on it and find out it drops you off the side of a mountain. Nice view. I shall come and check it again in a second. Right, I think I came in one of these. That's the spire upper balcony. Did they go that way? Or did they go downstairs? Okay, where, where are we are about as high up as you're going to get in here. Let's go back down. I'll come up again during the day and take a look. Right, back down to the spire. Are they down here somewhere? Astor, I need to speak to... Uh, oh, it's just you again, Carlin. How have you been? Uh, dude, no. Who are you? Have we met? Uh, yeah, do you know about strange items appearing? What have what you been doing? They are fascinating. It works then. Simply wonderful. Uh, yeah, what exactly works? Why, the spire's portals, of course. You know, the ones I've spent the past few days slaving away at, tweaking, 
in an attempt to get the damn things to work properly. So, tell me, were the objects intact? Um... Okay, actually they were only partially intact. Truly. Well, this calls for some celebration. We need to push further. Oh, yes. I think it's time to test this beautiful device out for real. Will you assist me? Without a true test, we will never be able to move forward. Um... It needs to be done if we ever wish to implement our own teleportation platforms in the Sinusures. I doubt the Synod will take too kindly to a Whisper's mage suddenly appearing in their conclave. Um, Buster, you need to calibrate it not to send things to there. Okay, we're going to try with persuasion. <laughs> you always know how to make me chuckle, my friend. Um... I don't really want to intimidate him, you know. If it stops zombies from appearing in the conclave, I'll help you. I knew I could count on you. Oh, God, Follow I'm getting me. myself into all kinds of trouble. I'm following you. I think. Where's Wingy? Yeah, he doesn't get a proper bed, does he? No, I didn't think so. Okay, where are we going? We are going... Okay... We're on this floor now? Yes, I can see her. Okay, he just went out there, I think. Oh, right. I see. Are you ready for what awaits you? Probably not. What is it exactly that he needs? Probably jump off or stand on that bloody portal there. What I need is to genuinely test these portals out and get them calibrated. I can't fix a problem I don't know exists after all. Right. First, though, I need you to place a marker at the destination site. This ancient thing is set to send people to the old Bruma Mages Guild, which is now the home of the Synod in Bruma. Yeah, Here's that's the beacon. Been I the hid it problem. inside this boot here. Just put it in the main hall. With it in place, I'll hopefully be able to focus the portal's trajectory directly to the beacon's location before you test this thing. Um, won't the Synod object to that, though? The Synod might not like it if they suspect you are helping us out. Oh, God. But you already knew that. So I'll see you back here when you're done. Yes, oh, I, I almost that. forgot. And it's not like me to forget, so I'd best tell you before I forget again. Bruma's quite the long walk from here. Um, yes, I already knew that. Remarkable, truly. But I have more to tell you. Oh, yes, much more. Indefinitely. Uh, infinitely? Uh, indef... No, no. Definitely infinitely. What? Infinitely more. <laughs> I can teleport you to Bruma. Oh, yes. The glistening frozen city. That's the city, problem, you idiot. Atop the Gerald Mountains, if my memory serves, and I believe it does. Traditionally, teleportation magic uses a focus. That's what the boot is for, to focus the magic, to make sure we end up precisely where we intend to. It's also why, throughout Tamriel's history, mages have employed mark and recall spells, invocations of divine intervention, and the like. Okay. However, I believe I've perfect... well, nearly perfected, mostly, a spell to teleport <laughs> oh, you to an God. imprecise location. That means I can teleport you to Bruma with a simple flick of my wrist. Expedite your journey, and a lot of fun on the way, I'd expect. Right. However, as I alluded to, I can't send you to any particular location in Bruma. Imprecise magic. So no direct travel to the Conclave, I'm afraid. Okay. Still, the theory behind the spell is sound. Mostly, I think. So if you want me to teleport you to Bruma, now, or, well, any time, just let me know. Okay... 
I changed my mind. I'm going to inform the Synod. Oh, God. Just for the lols, and because I'm on holiday, go on then. Teleport me to Bruma. Always a pleasure to help you out, Carlin. Steal yourself. <laughs> oh, this may feel a bit... He's senile, isn't he? Tingly. All right. Here we go. Oh, Prepare yourself. God. I'm not going to like this. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not dead. That's something, isn't it? I suppose. Hello? Hmm? I've had a very strange day. Yes, I have. Um, I think I should probably tell the Synod what's going on Be anyway. Be careful if you head into the northern part of the county. That area is prone to avalanches. Thank you. I will do that. Where's the... Yes, I have lost my bearings, unsurprisingly. Wasn't the Synod Watch your here? back outside the city walls. We can't be charging to your aid if a Timberwolf catches your scent. What is it? Was it lower down? I thought it was on this level. Apparently, no, it isn't. Now we just run out of places to run to there. Oh, it's on this platform, isn't it? Rumor Fighters Guild and... Yep, yeah, the Synod next door. Let's check the journal. Place a beacon in the Bruma Synod Conclave. Will that is probably what I need to do. I think, though, I should talk to some of these guys first, even though they do weird stuff like leaving zombies lying around. And why can't I pick that up? That is annoying. Yeah, I need to go and probably wake one or more of them up and figure out what the hell we're doing now. 